Welcome to the Cooking with Amy's Kitchen Show. If you're looking for easy, delicious recipes that are budget friendly and are made with ingredients you most likely have at home, then you've come to the right place. Grab you some pen and paper and let's start cooking. Hi guys. So I've already done my Chinese lemon chicken and now I'm gonna share my sweet and sour chicken recipe with you. So let's get started. You're gonna need one and a half of large chicken breast. I've already washed mine. Gonna get the fat trimmed, cut it into chunks. And I decided to do this meal in a three part series. They're easy dishes to make. I just wanted to show um, the proper attention and show you how you do this magical meal at home in each stage. So that way no one got overwhelmed. So I have my cornstarch and flour mixture, toss the chicken in the coating. Gets a little messy on this part, don't worry. One more toss. And I just like to make sure that each piece is fully coated. I already have my oil preheated on the stove, so we're gonna head over to the stove, start frying the chicken, and then I'll show you how to make the delicious sauce. So my oil's bubbling, it's all ready to go. I'm just gonna drop my chicken pieces in there. Make sure you do not overcrowd your pan. Your chicken won't get as crispy, it'll have a soggy coating, and no one wants that. You want it nice and crispy. So it's gonna take me about four batches to do this chicken, and I'm just gonna cook it three to four minutes until it's golden brown. The chicken's done. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Get that on there. And I just do it this way so the chicken has a good seasoning. Make sure it's all tossed. So for the sauce, I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. I add onions, so I just took about a half of a um, small onion, gave it a quick chop. I use Anaheim. I do not use bell pepper because it gives me heartburn and bell pepper isn't one of my favorites, but I do love a good Anaheim. So that's what I use, but feel free to use any color bell pepper that you have, or if you like bell pepper, it's totally up to you. That's the great thing about cooking at home. You get to cook how you like, what you enjoy, what your family likes. If I add too much seasoning for you, just fix it. If you only want a half of a teaspoon, go ahead. I just cook how my family and myself enjoy it. So I'm gonna get that chopped. And I don't mean to sound rude at all. I get a lot of messages telling me what I should do, what I shouldn't do. I just stay as polite as possible and just let everyone know I'm just sharing how I cook in my home and everything is subject to be adjusted to your liking. So I'm gonna take a jalapeno. I like mine a bit spicy. I'm gonna take the seeds out. Let's chop it into large chunks. Get that off to the side. And now for our actual sauce. So I have a quarter cup of water, mixed it in some chicken, with some chicken bouillon to make my stock. If you wanna use stock, feel free, go ahead. And I'm adding a half a cup of my pineapple juice that I reserved from my pineapples. So get that in there, give it a mix. Then I add in my brown sugar. And I'll place all the measurements at the end of the video, so don't worry if I'm going too fast. Get that in mix. And now my rice wine vinegar. If you're unsure of what that is, let me show you. It's just this. If you have white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, go ahead and just use that. No need to run out and buy anything special. So now that our sauce is made, or the liquid part to our sauce, I'm gonna head on to the stove, grab a clean pan, and we're gonna start putting it together. All right, so I've added a tablespoon of oil. I like to add garlic. I'm just gonna move this around till it gets fragrant. It only takes about 30 seconds. We don't want the garlic to burn. I'm gonna add in my onions, my Anaheim, and my jalapeno. 
And I'm just gonna cook this until the onion and the peppers start to soften. You want them still with a bite to them, but you don't want them raw. So just about a minute or so. I'm gonna start adding in some pineapple. You can use chunks or you can use a tidbit. That's what I'm using. So I use about a half of the can. If you want it more sweeter, feel free to use more. You can use crushed uh, pineapple or fresh pineapple, whatever you have on hand. It's just for the flavor. And it smells so good. The chilies with the pineapple just make it not only sweet but savory. You can smell the spice. This is going to go so good with my Chinese lemon chicken and my chow mein. Oh man, I cannot wait for you guys to make this entire meal at home. So now for that sauce mixture that we made, get that added in there. And we're going to let this come to a simmer. We just want that sugar to burn off a bit and it'll start um, thickening up. I've turned my heat down to medium just so it could do its thing. Everyone could get to know each other in there, get all acquainted. Now I'm going to take my cornstarch, my water, get that mixed. It starts to move it around slightly without making a mess. All right, so my cornstarch slurry is all ready. I'm turning up my heat just a smidgen, now on medium high. I'm just gonna let this do its thing just a little longer, probably about another 30 seconds. I'm gonna add my cornstarch slurry in. I'm gonna turn it down to low, and I'm gonna mix it till it's all combined. And I just want that sauce to really thicken up. And if you would like yours more uh, saucier, I should say, feel free to double the liquid. All right, so it's all nice and thick. The glaze is ready to go. Now to add my chicken. Get that in there. Toss this around. Make sure it's all coated. If you have some sesame seeds, Feel free to top it, make it look all pretty. I was out and I was not running to the store. I like to add some chopped green onions. That's optional. Now I'm gonna cover this up, make the chow mein, and once it's all done, I'll show you guys my entire meal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me on Facebook, adding you to your watch list so you don't miss out on any great recipes. I can also be found on YouTube now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit notification button on, and you guys will be in business. Bye-bye.